Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are sharing how we monetized our YouTube channel in three months with 26 videos as over 50 YouTubers. <laughs> and we do get lots of questions, um, people talking about, you know, how to get monetized, how long does it take, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna break down uh, all the information, how we landed this channel that you're watching, um, I've got it monetized in those three months. So let's talk about it. Yeah, the, there's a lot that goes into it. And this is, you know, we have a few channels. Our other channels, we didn't get monetized quite so quickly. And over doing those channels and then starting this one, we realized there were some keys that you had to do. And we put those into practice and it worked perfectly. Uh, the first one was we were consistent when we started the channel. We did upload those 26 videos in the three months. So that is, you know, that's quite a few videos to do. That's uh, roughly eight videos a month that you're doing. And uh, for when you're starting on a new channel, that's a pretty good rate. You know, two videos a week to be putting up. That's what we were doing. Consistency was a key. Yeah, we just uh, figured out, hey, we really want to go for this. So let's put it into practice. And we kind of just, you know, made a plan for the videos and we got to work and it really did um, affect how quickly we were able to monetize this channel. The second thing that we did properly was that we had our niche nailed down perfectly and we knew exactly how the niche was going to perform before we started. We had no question that gave us, you know, a lot of uh, certainty with what we we're doing and allowed us to produce all those videos with, with knowing that if we did that, it would be successful. And that's probably the biggest mistake that people make is that they don't have their niche picked or they pick a bad niche or they do something way too wide or way too narrow. And probably 90 to 95% of YouTubers quit YouTube because they pick the wrong niche or their niche is just too wide or too narrow. We see it all the time where we're saying, oh, if they just had nailed down that niche, they would already be monetized. They're just making this one little mistake and it's holding them back because we did that on our first two channels. And that's how we learned what does and does not constitute a good niche and how wide or how narrow it should be. And so that a huge problem for people. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it's actually one of the first few lessons that we have on our YouTube course is about choosing your niche, because if you don't get this right, you can forget about it. You're not going to monetize your channel. It's going to take forever and you're just not going to do well. You're setting yourself up for a mess. Um, if you get this right, you have a chance. If you do not get this right, you do not have a chance. You have to get insanely lucky. And even then I still don't think you have a chance. So get the niche right and you are starting off on the right foot. Yeah, I think the people that get lucky and YouTube are people that get lucky with the niche. Cause if you don't get the niche right, you're just not gonna make it. And so, yeah, we, we spend a lot of time helping people giving example niches you should, you should pick because it is that important. If you get the niche right and you are consistent and you make videos and you're willing to learn, there is a very high chance you will be successful on YouTube because that's what we've seen over and over and over. Every successful person has the niche right and they were consistent and that's what they do. So uh, the next thing we did was we focused on being informational instead of trying to entertain people. And as over 50 YouTubers, this is pretty important because <laughs> people want to hear our information. They don't really want us to be throwing up a lot of bells and whistles. They just want the facts. And we don't want to have your time wasted by, you know, a lot of crazy graphics or, or cut scenes that are just unnecessary. So we focused on being informational and that was pretty helpful. Because at the end of the day, people are coming to you in your age range because you they know you've got knowledge. Uh, they know that you have experience and they're here for the information. They don't need, you know, an entertainment show. That's why they're watching the 20 and 30 year olds doing, you know, with all the bells and whistles and all the adventure travel and all the different things. There's a, a time and a place for that. And, it, you know, you just have to understand that you're here for the information. You're not necessarily here to entertain people. Next thing was we didn't worry about what we sounded like or what we looked like and waiting until we had that all how we wanted it because you would never start. You, you would just never, 
you know, get started. And that's the main thing is just get started and make that first video. Once you commit to that, it's gonna go a lot easier. Commit to being consistent. Uh, 26 videos, that's all it took for us to do it. And I'm happy we started because we, we actually thought about it for a little bit with that, do we wanna do this or not? And once we made the decision to go for it, we were like, all right, we're gonna do it. And, and that's what worked <laughs> out. Uh, and then I do wanna say though that, you know, we there's a lot of videos out there about getting monetized quickly. And you know, we got this channel monetized in, in three months. That's that's about as fast as you can do it without getting just insanely lucky. You could get monetized in a in a week or a day if your first video, you know, goes goes big and you get lucky like that. But doing it this way, that's about as quick as you can do it. But what's more important than how quickly you got monetized, because that's not really that important whether you do it in two months, three months, five months, six months, it's how much do you grow your YouTube channel once you get monetized. That's what the real question should be. And a lot of people that get monetized quickly, if you go back and look at their channel, they did have one kind of big, sort of lucky video that, that went bigger than all the rest, and then they were not able to replicate it because they didn't know why it happened. They don't know why that happened and they can't, they can't make another one. So they really haven't grown revenue over the months that followed. And what we were able to do with this channel was take it from just getting monetized. I think that first month the channel was monetized, we only made like $50. But within a few four to six months from then, this channel was making over $4,000 per month. And that is what is important. Yeah, I think that that's a, a huge disservice really when people get like one big video that kind of gets them over the hump to get monetized because the thing is though that really that's really detrimental honestly to the channel because then they think oh well I did it I made it I monetized mm -hmm. but when you don't know why you got where you are then you will not be able to continue um, you have to have an understanding again this is something we talk about in the course and really dig deep but you really have to have an understanding of what is going to keep you moving forward like you said to keep the channel growing you have to put out content you know that's engaging enough that people are going to say yeah i want to subscribe because yeah you have a video went big a lot of people saw it but how many of those people actually subscribed to your channel yeah. That's a pretty big deal. It is important. And that consistency over the long run is what's going to make you that money. Now, this is a life-changing opportunity. Uh, we've dictate, uh, showed on this channel that we have made fifteen to $20,000 a month on YouTube over all of our channels for most of this year. It really is the opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, we do have a link in the description. If you want to learn how to do it, the best way to do it is to take the course because what it's going to give you is that certainty that what you're doing is the right thing and that you're on the right path. Where most people fail is they quit. They quit even if they're on the right path. They're either on the right path and they quit because they don't think they are or they're on the wrong path and they either quit or don't and they just never make it. So what you need is to be on the right path and to have certainty that you're on the right path and then not give up. If you do those things, it is most likely going to work and that's what the course gives you it gives you is my niche right is my niche good or am i wasting my time here and without that certainty boy a lot of fear and doubt come in and people end up just quitting yeah and i think the other great thing um that that we've got that comes with our course is the community you've got a community of people that are on the same path they're trying to do the same thing they're all working towards the same thing you can kind of champion each other on we do kind of challenges on there too and just you know strongly encourage people on this path because uh, it could feel a little bit weird when, you know, you're over 50 trying to do YouTube. Like, why would you do that? Um, it's the perfect time. It's the perfect age group. And we have such a beautiful, uh, supportive community with our YouTube course that uh, it's really pretty amazing. And we've added, you know, trips in there and meetups, all kinds of stuff. Um, it really does make a difference because that does help you kind of, like you said, get over that hump of, okay well i might just give up you know 
Well, no, because you've got support from people. You've got somebody who's on the same path as you. You get on there and say, hey, you know, I'm kind of down. I'm not feeling like I'm going to get where I want to get. And people get in there and can give you some ideas and give you the encouragement that you need to keep you going um, because you're probably not that far away. <laughs> exactly. And this, you know, if you've been wondering if you should do YouTube and, you know, we just want to encourage you, it is a great opportunity. It is more than you could possibly think or know that it is. Not only the financial uh, means that you get from it, but just the community that you'll create with your own channel, the friends that you'll make, the fulfillment that you'll have, the, abil the ability to show what you're doing in your life is all amazing. And it's really something that we think most people over 50 should start a YouTube channel because it is just, there's so many positive benefits to it uh, that, that we just think it's, it's a great thing. Yeah, so guys, we have a uh, link to in the description to our YouTube course. You can go check that out, see what it's all about, see everything that's included, all the lessons um, that are in there as well. So you kind of get an idea of everything that you're going to be learning in this process. Guys, if you have questions, leave those down in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.